everybody to the Freedom Hub. It is a great day to be an American. And unless you've been sleeping under a rock for the last year or so, you remember the whole, uh, you know, two weeks to flatten the curve thing? Well, I'm here to talk about that just a little bit, okay? Now, I'm not going to use any sort of trigger words that might get uh, this video pulled down. But uh, as you know, there might be a little bit of a... Uh, I don't know, pandemic going on. And uh, you might be wondering, like, should I take this seriously? I'm hearing a lot of different things. Um, the latest thing is triple masks, triple masks. Now, at the beginning, Dr. Fauci said you don't have to wear a mask at all. And uh, you should only wear a mask uh, really if, if you're sick or you're treating the sick. And that's it. And that, that made sense. It did. And then, oh, no, you have to wear a mask all the time. And then, oh, double masks and triple masks. And everything has just gotten so far out of hand, I figured I would do you a little bit of a favor and explain the pandemic to you right now. So as far as the pandemic goes, you have a couple different things going on. So the first thing that you have is your common cold. Now, common cold is just that. It is common and you feel a bunch of different symptoms and you got the sniffles, you got a cough, you got a, a couple different things going on, but it's relatively common and hence the name. But you know you're gonna be fine. If you just take a few things to mitigate the symptoms and let it run its course, you're going to be fine. A little bit of NyQuil, a little bit of DayQuil, you're going to be okay. And that is the common cold. Now, sometimes you get the flu. Now, the flu can be dangerous. It does kill a lot of people every year. And so, as, as far as that goes, I mean, that's when you start seeing the fever. That's when you start feeling achy. That is when your immune system is pretty compromised. And that is the flu. Now, everything you get with the cold, you also get with the flu. Now, what 2020 or 2019 brought us um, was the... Uh, the Chinese virus. Now, the Chinese virus, that adds a little bit more. So all of a sudden, you have a hard time breathing. And your immune system is very compromised. It's not good. It does kill people. It really does. I'm not saying that it doesn't. But you just kind of add that to the top of your flu. And then you got your Chinese virus. Now, let's take a step back and look at it from a different point of view. So, if I go to a bar and I order a beer, I'm gonna be fine, but I have to drink a lot of beers in order to get to the point where it's probably gonna kill me because I am a relatively healthy individual. So I'm gonna be okay. Now, if I get a shot on top of the beer, that's gonna put me a little bit closer um, than it would if I had just been drinking the beer, right? And that is if I'm in danger of death at all, if my liver is not healthy, if I have cirrhosis of the liver, if my kidneys have problems, now, these are things that I would typically know going in. So, if I was compromised, as far as drinking goes, I probably wouldn't go that far. Now, when you add the Irish cream on top of the Irish whiskey and combine it with the beer, 
if I had cirrhosis of the liver, if I was in danger of alcohol poisoning, if I had bad kidneys, I wouldn't do this. I would take every precaution possible to not do this. I wouldn't order it. I wouldn't accept any orders. You know, anybody buying it for me, I, I, I wouldn't do that. I would take every precaution possible. But I'm relatively healthy, and I've had the cold, and I've had the flu. And so chances are you're probably going to be fine. And that's the coronavirus for you. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. Don't forget to hit the like button, hit subscribe, and of course, hit that bell and let freedom ring throughout the land. <laughs>